So my name is Alison Seeger and um, my daughter asked me, who lives in Boston, if we could organize um, a, a rally to bring attention to what's going on in Tigray, which is in the north of Ethiopia. So I can't refuse my daughter, of course, and so I agreed to um, set up this rally today. And uh, a busload of about 50 people from the Boston Tigray community have just arrived. Um, so I'm actually going to go off and greet them. Um, I'm really glad that today is happening um, and um, I'm really glad that CCTV is actually filming what's going to be happening today. My name is Abi Ambaye. I live uh, here in uh, actually in South Burlington, Vermont and I am also very glad that uh, our friends are coming from Boston as well as from uh, Maine uh, and uh, we just we're here to uh, uh, to show the, you know, the community th what's happening in, in Tigray, the northern of Ethiopia, as, as Alison was saying, um, and then just uh, create awareness. Hi, uh, my name is uh, Awad Adani, and I'm here from uh, Maine. We're here to get awareness of um, about Tigray, northern of Ethiopia. Um, it still there's no peace and we're trying to get justice for all those people that died um, uh, because they do need justice and we're here to get awareness and tell everybody in Vermont what's, got, what's happening there. Thank you. Free 
Welcome. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I wrote something, so I'm gonna read it. Um, so welcome. Thank you so much for showing up today. I'm feeling kind of emotional. I just feel like everybody here has been through so much in the past two and a half years. It's, you guys are just so amazing and strong. Knowing what you know about what's going on in your country, in your region, thank you for showing up today. I'm a huge believer in showing up. Showing up is what makes a difference. And you've made a difference today by deciding to be here. Thank you to my friends that have chosen to come out on this cold and blustery morning. Um, thank you to the Tigray community of Boston and the Tigray community of Portland, Maine, who got up at the crack of dawn to be here to inform us and the public about what's currently going on in Tigray. Thank you to my lovely daughter, Alex from Meron, right here, who had the idea in the first place. Yeah, let's have a round of applause for this young woman here, definitely. Thank you, Alex, thank you. I call her Alex, Meron, I call her lots of things, but. <laughs> you had the idea in the first place and made it happen. You continue to be an incredible, thoughtful, strategic, and very patient leader, and I'm so proud of you. Yeah. For those of you who weren't listening to me just now, I'll tell you what the numbers are. At the very least, half a million people have been murdered. Over 120,000 women and children have been raped and brutalized. Over 58,000 refugees from Tigray are now living in Sudan, who by sure has humongous problems of their own right now. There's been complete destruction of farms and factories in Tigray, which has resulted in a 95% unemployment rate. Bank accounts have been looted, and thousands of Tigrayans have been rounded up and placed in concentration camps in the capital of Addis, in the capital Addis Ababa, where many have been tortured, raped, and some have been executed. And you know, the toll, the toll could be much higher, could be much, much higher. I believe we only know a part of what is going on in Tigray right now. We're in a waiting period to see not only what, is, what happens next in this so-called peace treaty, but we are waiting to see what has happened until this point. Because like I said, journalists are, have, are still barred from traveling to Tigray. So we're waiting. We're waiting to see what exactly the devastation will look like. And we can only estimate the loss of life. I also want to thank Beth from Senator Sanders' office. If you want to just, who will say a few words in a minute. So Sanders' yeah. office is here representing. Much thanks to you for showing up on a Saturday morning when you really didn't have to, so thank you. Abiy Ahmed, the Prime Minister of Ethiopia, who was awarded the Nobel Peace Prize, can you believe it, less than a year before he waged war on the people of Tigray, has so far escaped any consequences for his murderous behavior resulting in the genocide. He has not been held accountable for the war crimes that he and his government committed. In fact, the government of Ethiopia, headed of course by Abiy Ahmed, has now started what they call a transitional justice process, which says it will deliver accountability for human rights abuses. The Ministry of Justice has proposed a process based on Ethiopia's domestic courts, rather than an international tribunal as in other conflicts such as Yugoslavia. How can this be objective and unbiased? It's like the police monitoring the police. It will not work. Ahmed's government has yet to even acknowledge the role Eritrean troops have played throughout the war. Ethiopia's, inter Ethiopia's national institutions have no power to prosecute foreign soldiers back in Eritrea, a separate sovereign country whose leader has, has dismissed allegations against his military as a fantasy. Consequently, many human rights experts believe the chances of justice for crimes committed by Eritrean troops are slim. Ethiopian courts deciding for themselves whether they have committed crimes against humanity and the fact that the Ethiopian government haven't even acknowledged Eritrean's involvement in the massacre, right. it is extremely likely that justice will not prevail. 
There are Vermonters here who have ties to Tigre. Some of their family members have been captured and tortured by Eritrean forces. They have spent months, years in fact, worrying about whether their relatives are alive or dead. And some of them still do not know. We implore you to help us stop this genocide. We implore you to bring this war, the deadliest this century, to the forefront of people's minds and help us seek justice for our loved ones. My friend Abby is going to speak more to what we can do here in Vermont in a minute. But without justice, there really will be no peace. Without peace, the people of Tigre will continue to live in fear, continue to be killed, raped, and die of hunger. There has to be justice, or the peace treaty really means nothing. So what do we want? Justice. When do we want it? Now. What do we want? Justice. When do we want it? Now. What do we want? Justice. When do we want it? Now. Uh, Beth, do you want to just come up and speak for a moment? And then, uh, and then Abby? You can use the mic or the mic. Uh, you use, can you hold this for her? Yeah. Can you help me down? Yeah. Can you all hear me? Yes. Oh, yes. Speak with the megaphone if you would. type of weather. It's my second rally that I'm here and um, I'll be sending a letter to Allison on behalf of Senator Sanders with more um, comments oh. <laughs> with more comments <laughs> that we'll share with you all. Um, we're happy to support this cause that's happening in Chigre with all the atrocities. So thank you for inviting me and thank you for having us here. Welcome to Burlington again. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It means a lot. It means that our voices are being heard. And until this point, we people here really feel that their voices haven't been heard. So thank you again. Please thank the senator for um, for the letter that he's going to send. <laughs> Appreciate it. Now I'm going to call on my friend. I'm going to call on my friend Abby. Yeah, you can use this. Uh, I don't have a lot to say because uh, Alison, my friend, has uh, said it all. Uh, but uh, first of all, I would like to invite you back, my Boston friends and families, again for the third time. Uh, you're a strong bunch, right? Um, and I would like to thank especially Alison, who has been fighting this fight since the inception and uh, doing everything to, to support us. I would also like to uh, uh, say thank you to uh, Vermonters who are joining us today. Uh, the BT Digger, uh, the Free Press, Senator Sanders is a uh, representative and in uh, Senator Sanders in spirit here. Um, so please uh, uh, give uh, applaud for them as well. Uh, so the reason we are here, uh, Alison has talked about it uh, in detail, but it is uh, it, it boils down to uh, get uh, uh, our our uh, you know our Tigray back uh, uh, to where it was. Uh, as she said, a lot of people have died. A lot of people are still suffering. Um, kids have not been to school for three years. One year for COVID and two years because of this uh, war. Uh, people don't have uh, anywhere to go when they are sick. They are not being taken care of. So we need to have a proper care and a proper health care uh, for those people who are sick. Uh, most, most importantly, so we want to have peace and we want to maintain whatever uh, small peace is uh, right now. And we want to free all Tigray, as, as, as uh, Alison has said, Western Tigray and Southern Tigray still being occupied by the Amharas. Northern Tigray is still being occupied by Eritreans that needs to be freed, and freed as soon as possible. 
And again, thank you everybody for coming. And we want free to dry. Free to dry. Free to dry. Free to dry. Thank you. Um, Alisa wants me to, to tell you uh, that we have uh, you know, uh, uh, a nonprofit here that is established for education and health, uh, which uh, Alison is a part of. And uh, for those of you who are listening, the VT Digger, the uh, uh, Free Press and others, uh, please support us to support kids back, back uh, in Tigray. Thank you. Uh, good morning. So thank you, Burlington and Vermonters, for having us here. Oh, okay. Uh, thank you for having us here. Um, we are here for uh, at least three important reasons. Uh, one, uh, importantly, for peace. We, we are demanding peace in Tigray. No, you got it. You just need to, like, kiss it. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one to say. <laughs> okay. Uh, we are here demanding uh, three important things. Peace. Uh, justice and uh, the war to stop in our region. Um, I think eloquently, Alison and Avi have addressed this, uh, so I don't have much to add, but we just want to remind our folks here, particularly Vermonters, uh, and for them to give and continue their support with our cause. It's unfortunate that the world is raging with war in Ukraine, particularly in Sudan now. I don't know how many people are aware, and because we have a substantive population in the Sudan, uh, which is stranded because of the current conflict in the Sudan, we have close to about 90,000 and probably heading to 100,000 people who are already refugees in the Sudan, pleading war from Ethiopia, from Tigray. And they are only four, four hours away, just four to five hours away from their farm, from their home. Some governments have been responsible enough to remove and facilitate the travel of their citizens from Khartoum in their surrounding and pass through Matamma to safety, which we are very happy and supportive. And yet we have 100,000, four hours from their homeland, from Humara, from Gansha, but suffering from this. So we demand the United States to put pressure on the UNDP, on the NHSR, on World Food Program, on USAID, and other European uh, communities and European governments to facilitate the return of refugees from and around Homora back to their country, back to Tigray. <laughs> Even though uh, a peace agreement has been signed, uh, uh, in November, November 3rd, 2022. Unfortunately, the war still continues. People continue to suffer. Wars still continue to rage. And particularly, Tigrayans, as we speak today, we are seeing casualties. People are passing uh, because of violence and conflict, senseless conflict. In just be between yesterday and today, in Shikhat, we have at least about six people half a dozen people who have been murdered. Just south of Nazareth, Adama, we have half a dozen people just last night who have been murdered, simply because they are Tigrayans or people of origin of Tigray. We need to stop this. The United States, the European Union, and other international community need to put pressure on Abiyi to stop this. The third is humanitarian assistance, as you may be aware. We have close to about 6 million people in Tigray who have been displaced, who were self-sufficient, but now need humanitarian assistance. A substantive amount of ESA aid money, which is taxpayers' money, which have been provided and facilitated to be delivered to humanitarian crisis uh, recipients and victims in Tigray, and yet substantive amount of that has been diverted, and nobody knows. ESA is trying to investigate 
What we need is immediate delivery of humanitarian assistance directly to the victims in Tigray, and not just once every six months, not once every year, but every month the need for humanitarian assistance is immediate, and we want to make sure that the USAID is following with that. <laughs> like Hopefully that's all right. Uh, the third is uh, to remind about justice. The State Department have made determinations that war, crimes, atrocities, mass atrocities, ethnic cleansing has happened in Japan. The perpetrators are Eritrea, the government of Ethiopia, and the Amhara militia, and the Amhara family forces. It falls short of the determination that genocide has been committed in Tigray. And we want to make sure the State Department follows through its reports and makes that determination. Indeed, genocide has happened in Tigray. Number two, that we, we want to make sure that the in independent investigation continues to be happening in Tigray. Journalists have not been allowed to move into Tigray independent investigation have not been allowed to go through the ground. The reports that you have seen, the determination that you have heard, is based only on third party testimonies. If they were to go, independent investigations were to go, to actually the places where those crimes have been committed, you can tell, you can tell that of course, they would make a determination genocide has really occurred. So we demand an independent investigation by the international community and the continuation of the International Commission for Human Rights Investigation in Tigray. So four demands. Number one, peace now. Peace now. Peace now. Peace now. Peace now. Peace now. Yes to peace. Yes to peace. Yes to peace. Yes to peace. No to war. No to war. No to war. No to war. Justice for Tigray. Justice for Tigray. Justice for Tigray. Justice for Tigray. All right, everybody. Yeah, let's actually let's do a round of applause. Say thank you to Allison and to those who are here and to all the reps. Uh, we're gonna yeah. So let's just give them a say thank you. Uh, I mean, we're not done yet. We're gonna do a little chanting because. <laughs> I mean, the reason why we are here today is because, I mean, everybody explained it, but we're demanding justice for the people of Tigray. Um, so we demand for, you know, justice for the people of Tigray because why? A lot, um, as they explained it, a lot of war crimes have been committed and crimes against ha humanity have been committed and no accountable, accountability to this day. And the Ethiopian government is trying to cover up this and just say, you know what, let's just forget the past and move forward. That kind of, that kind of mentality is not going to help anybody because there are a lot of, a lot of uh, children whose parents have been killed and shot with impunity and no, no justice for them. The children need justice. The, the women who are raped, they need justice. You cannot bury this and move forward. The, it needs to be addressed. Otherwise, like Allison was saying, there will never be a genuine peace. So we are here to say to the international community, take action, do independent investigation. They could do it, they have the power. But why are they so silent? Because they, they want to, they choose to. That's why we are, we are here to demand them, say, take action. Take action now. 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 Justice for Tigray. 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 We demand justice for Tigray now. We demand justice for Tigray now. We demand justice for Tigray now. Free Tigray now. Free Tigray now. Free Tigray now. Shall we out of Tigray now? Eritrea forces out of Tigray now. Amhara forces out of Tigray now. Amhara forces out of Tigray now.
on the outer to right now. Tigray needs justice now. Tigray needs justice now. Tigray needs justice now. What do we want? What do we want? When do we want it? When do we want it? When do we want it? What do we want? What do we want? When do we want it? When do we want it? Free to cry now. Free to cry now. Free to cry now. Free to cry now. We demand justice 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 now. Free to cry now. Free to cry now. Free to cry now. Free to cry now. We also want to support our people in Sudan. Currently, there is a civil war happening in Sudan. A terrible war is uh, happening throughout the country. We are also on uh, on the side with them, with with the people of Sudan, and uh, we say, stop the war with Sudan now. Stop the war with Sudan now. Stop killing civilians. Stop killing civilians. Stop the war in Sudan now. Stop the war in Sudan now. Stop the war in Sudan now. Free to cry now. Free to cry now. Justice for 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 to cry now. All right, thank you, everyone. All right, I think uh, Michael Barra needs to come here. I think he's going to say something. Hello, Naina Bifilai Bezahatum. كاول عبي حدقة هزونا يزلو. سلذي أزاي المزنا الله خنات هاد ممكن ولا ودانا هنا أنا لوزي قط خم لا فتي تري لهم يوم تقبل لهم لا يوم هنا بيزهم لوزي قطنا لما أنا العالم أنا كازل عبي حدقة اليوم أنا التفتر سلذي تدمسي نقاط سلالو. Hello everyone. I think most of you know me. If not, my name is Maron. I went when I came first to the U.S. I came here. This is. I got the world coming to America. I went to high school here, BHS, Burlington High School. I graduated here and then went to trade school in Boston. And then after that, started the grown up life. What I wanted to say is thank you so much to all Burlington, all of you from press, from my family, from friends, all of you. We never, every time we come to here, home, it is like my home here. Uh, we never got disappointed. We always get more notification, more support here than actually we live in Boston. So mm -hmm. this means a lot to me, especially me and all of us here, as you see us, we all have the bad news. We all lost family members, we all lost friends. You know, it's very, very important, all of you to take action by calling your senators to make sure Tigray does get justice what deserves. So please help us calling and making awareness of what's going on around us because what happens to our neighbors tomorrow will happen to us too so let's be kind one to another and thank you for supporting us we appreciate you to great to all right we will be doing final prayer in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen dear god we are here today gathered to ask for your help, to ask for the help of the people of Burlington, Vermont. And we are here today to ask you for the many times that we've, asked, we've been asking for the past 
to help all the victims in Tigray, for they have been massacred, murdered, starved to death, sexually abused, besieged, and bombarded. We ask you, God, for you are the, the God of just, for you are the God of love, and for you are the God of peace. We ask you to help all the hundreds of thousands of people that we have lost to receive them to your kingdom. We ask all the women that have been raped and gang raped to the tune of hundreds of thousands to help them to survive this heinous act and to bring them forth to be better people in their future for what had happened on them have devastated their lives, have devastated their family, and have devastated our nation, our beloved Tigray. We also ask God to help all the people that have been starved to death and also being continuing to be starved. God, you have promised us that you will give us our daily bread and we ask in here by the fault of our enemies, all the people that had been working hard, their properties had been destroyed, their farms had been destroyed, all the factories, all the offices, all the businesses had been destroyed and Tigray had been left with nothing. All we ask in here is that for all the people in the world to understand our predicament for the daily bread to be given to our people so they could survive the day. We also ask God for all the kids that have been born under this besiegement. They have been hurt in the kind of words that cannot be explained. They have been malnourished and all the diseases, all the troubles of health had been upon them. We ask you to heal them, to help them so they would become better citizens. We also ask God, all the young men and women that have picked up arms and tried to defend their people and who have become pretty much disabled. We want you to help them so they can, as they defend our sovereignty, as they defend our lives, our, as they defend our families' well-being, God, Lord, please help them out so they would, they would have a better future. We ask you this through Jesus Christ, your Son, in the intercession of our beloved Mary, Mary of Zion. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.
Tigrayans from the northern part of Ethiopia. And uh, we're from the New England area, uh, state of Vermont, state of Maine, state of New Hampshire, state of Massachusetts, and the state of Rhode Island. Uh, why we are gathered here is because uh, in the past we've had two rallies in here and we've gotten a wonderful support from the senators senator Leahy. patrick Leahy and senator local. bernie sanders office and, and uh, a lot of great uh, statements that has come out from there has helped our cause, uh, cause a whole lot and uh, for the third time here we are in uh, vermont burlington city of burlington and that is, that is the reason why we are here and uh, of course what we are opposing is war, besiegement, man-made famine, executions to the tune of hundreds of thousands. The worst rape has ever been recorded on history by the hundreds of thousands of little girls age 5 all the way up to old women age 89 and these uh, terrible people, the army of Ethiopia, the army of Eritrea, the army and militia and irregular army of the Amhara region, and armies from Somalia who have come to our land, and uh, with the uh, first time 600,000 boots, and the second time about a million boots that came in and that pretty much came into our land where there are about seven to eight million people and they kill close to a million people. That is about 13% of the population that they killed. And we are opposing that and uh, we really want the people of Bur Burlington and the people of Vermont to help us with this uh, cause because this is the worst hum hum Human. inhumanity that this 21st century has ever seen. And we really thank you very much for your help. Okay, well, thank you. Uh, as Miki said, yes, we are here today to advocate justice for our people in Tigray because, uh, yes, uh, a peace deal has been signed between the Tigray government and the Ethiopian federal government, which is uh, the right, you know, step in the right direction. Uh, but what we need right now is accountability and justice, but also. Uh, we need all the invading for the remaining in invading forces to um, withdraw from Tigray. Currently, uh, there are still Eritrean forces in Tigray, and uh, the remnant of Amhara militia found us still in Tigray. All these invading forces have to withdraw completely from Tigray, 
in order to establish uh, a genuine peace uh, in Tigray and throughout Ethiopia. So that's what we are here for. We are here for the complete withdrawal of all the invading forces from Tigray. That's one and two. Uh, we need to address the accountability for all the raped victims in Tigray, but also for civilians who were shot uh, from house to house with impunity, no mercy. They have been killed. These are, these are civilians, children, with, with no, they didn't do anything. They were not, they were not soldiers, but they were killed by the Israeli forces, by the Amhara militias in Fano. So these war criminals need to come to justice. So that's why we are here today. We are here for justice and a genuine peace to be established and a, a real accountab accountability to be, to be uh, done by the international community and for the UN to do its, its uh, due diligence and do independent investigation. Uh, I would also like to thank uh, Kasha Rem, uh, the local senator. Uh, she came last time and gave us her support. Uh, like both of them said, we need justice immediately without any delays. Uh, we need basic access. There's still a places that, that you, they don't have access necessary. That you know, water, food, drink. Um, banks are still closed. So we demand justice for all Tigray and for also peace to Sudan. Thank you. Well, we would like. Uh, we are here to demand justice. Uh, we are here to demand uh, end of war and for peace to reign in the region, in Tigray. Uh, the United States has been instrumental in providing humanitarian assistance, uh, which we appreciate. It has also brokered a peace deal in November uh, with a lot of flaws in it, but we want the peace to hold. And yet, close to about 600,000 people have been murdered. The State Department did found War crimes did indeed happen in Tigray. Atrocities did happen. Uh, crimes against against humanity did occur, and also ethnic cleansing in Western Tigray and other parts of Tigray. The State Department fall short, shy of m saying and coming clear on genocide. We want the State Department to make that determination. Importantly. We would like to see the United States Department to make sure peace holds by putting pressure on the administration, on ABE, uh, through diplomatic and other measures, including sanctions, to ensure that peace holds. And to make sure independent investigation makes a determination that all these crimes did occur and someone is held responsible and accounted that to make sure journalists visit Tigray and make uh, uh, the evidence out so the world, so the international community can see and make that determination on their own. There are claims that both sides are responsible. Let the truth come out, let the independent investigation come out, let the journalists visit Tigray and make that determination. We want the people of the United States to make sure the uh, conflict in Tigray, the conflict in Ethiopia, the conflict in the entire whole region does really affect them. It's very important for Congress, for State Department, for Biden administration to put enough pressure, attention, as much as it puts pressure and priority in Ukraine. We are sad, uh, the invasion of Russia on Ukraine. We are saddened by what has happened to the people of Ukraine. And we want peace in that region, but we also want peace in Tigray. We also want peace in the Horn of uh, uh, Africa. The similar attention and support, including resource and political will, that's shown by the international community and by the United States should be shown also towards Tigray and towards Sudan as well. Uh, we have been very encouraged by statements from uh, Senator Sanders and others 
with in the with in Congress, but we want the Biden administration to make more resources and more uh, focus and priority given to Tigray. Thank you. Uh, yeah, good morning. Thank you very much, CCTV, for giving me this chance to express myself about what's going on in Ethiopia, particularly in Tigray, the northern part of Ethiopia. Today we are here to, uh, for, to demonstrate for peace and justice for, Ethio for Tigray. As you all know, Tigray was under siege for the past two years. War and humanitarian <coughs> access was not there and rape and so on and so forth for the past two years. We actually, uh, in, in the past uh, six, six months, uh, peace has come thanks to the government of the United States for helping in set this uh, peace. Uh, they have done a lot and because of that, at least now, there is no war in Ethiopia, in, in Tigray, especially the northern part of Ethiopia. It, it is true that peace is not there, but uh, as you all know, the Tigray is, is a, big, a big state, the western part, the northern part is still uh, under the control of the Eritrean government and the Amhara Fano. This has to be to stop. Tigray has to get free. We are here in demand of the United States and its allies, the Europeans, to help us bring the whole territory of Tigray into, into account, into, into peace. And as you all know, uh, one of the problems in, in Tigray is there is no humanitarian access. Uh, of course, they have started, but we need more. This is a, a country which, this is a state where they didn't get food, salary, and uh, access to to health and so on and so forth. So our our children have not been to school for the past three to four five years. Uh, kids have to go back to school for the peace to be completed. And then we do, we are here uh, to ask that. At the same time, we have I have, I have been and most of us here from Boston and Maine have been to Vermont for three four uh, times. I was very appreciative. They have been very much helpful, especially the senators and congressmen. Their voice was very much appreciated, both in the diaspora and the Tigrans in Tigray. They have done a good job. Uh, they have been listened by many of their comrades in the United States, and we want them to continue. They still do a good job. But good job means when the, the job is done. We want that to be completed, but please pass our, our, our uh, appreciation for whatever they have been doing and whatever they are going to do. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to express myself. My name is Sendayo Gebro. I am the survivor of 1988 starvation, or 1985, I should say. Um, I know what it's like to have a war as a young child and you know, survive that coming to America. You attempt to try to forget what had happened. This war brought a trauma that I had forgotten for so many years. And today, my cousins, my sisters, my brothers are in the same condition that they were, that I was uh, in 1985. Uh, justice for Tagaru. It means we want justice for our sisters, for our brothers, for our kids that have not gotten justice. Peace is good uh, for everything. However, the investigation, independent investigation, has to be there to find out what had happened to our sisters. Thousands of girls and women have been raped and they need justice. Their pain has to be acknowledged. A government with guns go into a, into a country, to their homes, and purposely dishumane them, rape them, to, for them to hate themselves. So for the females here that you would hear my voice, I need you to help me find justice for the girls and for the women of Tigray that are suffering with no medication, with no um, uh, doctors to look at them. And they, they are losing hope because nobody is actually focusing on them. 
Peace comes when you heal. Peace comes when you acknowledge what you have done. Peace comes when you apologize or help the, the people that have got hurt. Peace in word, it sounds good, but in reality, the peace has to exist through trauma uh, and you know, uh, therapists and these females that had been raped. They need to be acknowledged. It wasn't their fault. Being female, it's not a crime. Born in Tigray is not a crime. So I just here to be the voice for the people of Tigray that you know they don't have voices, but they don't get the opportunity to make their voice. And I want to make aware for everybody in the United States to help us to go uh, international uh, community and to investigate it. You know, I wish I could say more, but I can't, and uh, I'm, I'm unable to articulate my word. Thank you very much.